April is Child Abuse Awareness Month, but each and every day, the Children's Advocacy Center for the First Judicial District is doing all they can to keep children safe. And this morning, Samantha Prater and Connor Evans, along with Happy Bear, are here to tell us about some upcoming programs and events aimed at spreading the word about child safety all across our region. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. But I mentioned it briefly there, but before we get started with the, the events and things that you have coming up, tell us about the Child Children's Advocacy Center and what you do on a daily basis. Um, okay, well, the Children's Advocacy Center, and, and this is, there's one generally in every ju judicial district mm -hmm. in the state. We work directly with um, Child Protective Services, law enforcement, and the District Attorney General's Office to investigate and prosecute child abuse cases. All right. and. Connor, for the month of April, y'all have several events coming up to bring awareness to, to child safety. Tell us about uh, the uh, some of the things y'all got coming up in April. Yes, so for the whole month of April, um, on Fridays, we're gonna. it's called Go Blue. Mm -hmm. So we would like for everyone to wear blue, take a picture, post on social media, and tag us. And then at the end of the month, we will pick a winner and we'll deliver some treats um, you know, to whatever agency or person wins. Um, but it just really helps spread that awareness for the whole month of April. Uh, let's let's talk about being uh, children's safety and, and some of the things that we need to look for and report when we see what are some of the symptoms of child abuse or signs of child abuse that you see that that you might need to report to authorities. Um, well, and, and the majority of our referrals come from schools, mm -hmm. daycares, churches. Um, so I would just look for. Um, any odd behavior that the child exhibits that maybe they have not been exhibiting in the past. And, and there's, um, as you see on the screen, there's a list there of right. with uh, behaving, withdrawing from friends and family, um, sleep disturbances, uh, nightmares. Um, there's also um, some physical signs as well um, with, you know, the, the private parts and uh, those, those type of things. Okay, yes. let's break, uh, let's look, take a look at some of the events that you have coming up. First big one that you have coming up where you want to get that awareness out there is coming up on the 20th. Yes, that is uh, April 20th and it's called Kid Power. It's held in Kingsport and it is, um, it's an event for kids, it's free. There's a treasure hunt um, and there's just all kinds of different agencies that come there that cater to the needs of children and it, it's, a, it's a great time. Um, there's usually a band and a um, parade as well. You're partnering with Frontier Health and the City of Johnson City on that yes. to bring those free activities out. Yes, uh, uh, Frontier Health, um, ETSU, PEDS, and then there's just a, a wide variety of other agencies that come too. And even beyond April and the Child Abuse Awareness Month, you're also going to have some other events coming up in May and June as well. Yes, um, we have partnered with Panera um, and some other local businesses and um, places like that where you can go for that day and um, the CAC gets a a percentage of the proceeds. And also, you're going to be having sponsoring some pool parties and, and some fun things like that yes. coming up at Wetlands down in Jonesville. Yes, we will be doing a, our second. We did our first pool party last year. We'll be doing the second one this year. It'll probably be um, at the end of June at Wetlands. It's a free event for kids. Um, you come, get in for free. Um, and we have pizza and snacks, and it's just it's just a, a great time for kids to come and have some fun. Absolutely. Happy Bear will be there for all of you. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is Happy Bear. He is our body safety mascot. Right. He goes to different elementary schools um, in the area. We just went to Fall Branch and Mountain View, mm -hmm. and he teaches kids about uh, body safety. And you give out educational packets as well to students to take home with them as yes, well. Yes, yes. We, we do. We send mm -hmm. those out um, to all the schools in our four counties. Um, just to uh, raise awareness and to uh, give information on stats, local stats and stuff in the area of what we're actually seeing at the center. All right. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for the, everything that you're doing on a daily basis. We truly appreciate it. And thank, thank you. you for the opportunity to come here. Absolutely. Folks, we got some information for you on the screen right there. The Children's Advocacy Center, 1st Judicial District, located here in Johnson City. They're located right at on Myrtle Avenue here, 201 East Myrtle Avenue. If you need to get in touch with them, we got a couple of ways there. We got a phone number and a website as well.